Okay, this is lesson 12.3. It's a problem-solving lesson for using objects to solve a simpler problem. So, we were given three objects. How many cubes in this one? One. That's easy, right? My cubes are not great. How many in this one? Three. And we were given one more, correct? Yes. How many in this one? Six. Six. Okay. Now, we were asked to find how many blocks total would be in one of these figures if there were 15 blocks at the base. Now, we're only up to how many blocks at the base at this point? Three. Three. Could we continue drawing these to figure that out? Yes. We could, right? So what would my next one look like? How many would be at the base? Four, Four across the base. How many would be in the next row? Three. And how many in the next row? Two. And how many on top? One, okay? Terrible drawing, but it does, it does the trick. How many total blocks do I have if we have that figure there? Ten, ten. ten total ten. blocks, okay? And that's only with four at the bottom. Let's draw one more. What would the next figure look like? How many at the base? One. Next row? Four. Next row? Three. Three. Next row? Two. And next row? So just based on how these figures are made, is there a pattern? Yes. yes. Each row above has one less than the row below it. Very good. So in this figure, we have 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Anybody have a total on that? 15. 15. You guys trust that? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Plus 1 is 15. Very good. Now, that's 15, but is that the 15 we're looking for? No, we need 15 along the bottom. So, do we want to continue drawing like this? No. no. At this point, it's time to start to look for patterns. Okay? So, keep these numbers in mind. You guys have these written down? Because we're going to clear this, okay? And let's put together a chart that will help us solve this problem a little bit easier. So, our chart needs to include two things. We need to know how many cubes are in the bottom row, bear with me while I try to write with my finger, that's one side of our chart, and what would the other side be? Wow. How many cubes there are? Together. Total, good, together. So if there's one cube on the bottom row, how many total cubes are there? None. If there's one cube on the bottom row, that first picture, how many are total? One. one. If there's two cubes on the bottom row, how many are there total? Three. three. If there's three cubes on the bottom row, how many were there total? Four. Six. Six. This is from our drawings we just did, remember. If there's four in the bottom row, how many are there total? Ten. 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 And the last one we did was five in the bottom row, how many were there total? Fifteen. Fifteen. Now, using this chart, remember, the whole goal today is to use a simpler problem in order to solve the larger problem. Now look at that chart carefully. See if you notice a pattern. Other than the fact that the bottom row goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The total does go up 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. See if you see a pattern there. Josh, what pattern do you see? I see 5 plus 10 is 15. 4 plus 6 is 10. 3 plus 3 is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. Good. Does everybody see where Josh is looking? Let me use some colors here to show you what he's saying right now. Let me start at the top. He started at the bottom. Let me start at the top. If I take the one total from the first figure and I add it to the two in the next bottom row, what do I get? Three. See it there? If I take that three and I add three to it, what do I get? Six. See that? Yeah. Let's continue. If we take that six and we add four to it, what do we get? And finally, if we take the 10 and we add 5 to it, what do we get? 15. Do we have a pattern? Yes. yes. What does the pattern mean, though? Can anybody tell me what the pattern means? Why are we each time just simply taking the last total and adding the new bottom row? Matt? Not just a piece onto it, what are we adding each time technically onto it? 
Toby? We're not just adding one to the bottom row. We're adding a whole... You could look at it that way, but you could look at it as Rodney. You're adding a whole new row each time, aren't we, guys? Every time, we're taking the last figure, and we're adding an entire new row below it. So if you think back to the pictures we just drew, okay, each time we're adding a new row. So that's why this pattern works. So can we use this pattern to figure out for 15? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so basically what we're trying to do is figure out, okay, we're at 5 and 15. What would this thing look like when we're at 15 on the bottom row? I'll squeeze that down there like that. And we want to know what goes for the total. Now, in order to get that, what do we need above it? Andrea? We need the last total. Good. How would we get that last total? That's the question. How are we going to get there, guys? Should we draw it out? Yeah. Okay, because do we need to draw the pictures anymore? Yeah. No, the good news is we no longer have to draw the pictures. So we're at 5 and 15, correct? So let me make two quick rows over here and two over here. Okay? So we're at 5, yeah. five and 15. So the next one, using our pattern, the sixth row is going to have how many bucks? Does everybody see how we got that? 15 plus 6. The seventh is going to have? 28. The eighth? 34. No, no, no. 32. Careful on your addition. 36. 36. Take your time. 9. 40. Take a second. 9 plus 36. 45. 10th row. 55. Now let's go over to the other side. The eleventh row is eleven plus the fifty-five. Sixty-five. No, no, sixty-six. Sixty-six. Very good. The twelfth, we're almost there, is going to be. The thirteenth is. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. And again, you could do this addition on the side. Don't think you all have to do all, all mental math. We're just doing it that way right now. Fourteenth row. And finally, the fifteenth row. How many blocks total? 120 blocks. Did anybody have that answer based on what they did? I know some of you were very close. However, guys, if you draw pictures, is it going to take you a long time to get there? Yes. Using a chart or a pattern, is this a quicker way to get there? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay? So this is using a simpler problem in order to solve a more complex problem. So today, in 12.3, you're